Hey guys, Larry the Tractor Guy. Hey, uh, we're out here today, this afternoon, out here in Southwest Oklahoma. Man, it's gotten hot. It's like almost 100 degrees today. And uh, we've got an 8420 here that a customer called in and he's got a complaint that the auto track is not working and probably has some auto steer codes. And it looks like he's trying to do a little spraying. So we're gonna jump into this and see what we got going on with this auto steer. We're in the tractor now, started up and took a quick look at the display here. And I don't know if you see that, but it looks like it's got a book and wrench there where you would actually uh, turn the auto steer or the steering on. So as a result of that book and wrench, we've only got a quarter of the, what we call the status pie, okay? And what that means is we've probably got some steering codes, okay? Um, one thing keep in mind that if you have that book and wrench and only highlighted a quarter of your status pipe, also look at your SF1 signal. Make sure that you have a good SF1 signal because that can also cause that to happen. So looks like we do have a good SF1. Um, so I'm pretty sure we've got uh, probably some steering controller codes. Okay, so we're gonna go in and look at that really real quick. Pulled our diagnostics up here and they list that in the corner post display. And I don't know if you can see that, but we've got an SSU 209, a 213, a 208, a 214, a 101, and then end, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and wait till we cycle through those again and get to end and go ahead and try to clear those codes and then see what happens when we engage our auto steer. So we looked up in service advisor here and we found that the SSU 101 is for the operator presence switch circuit fault. So basically that's saying that the auto track will be disabled if it doesn't recognize someone sitting in the seat. Okay, so I, I suspect that's probably our problem. So we're gonna look into this uh, seat switch on this 8420 and see if we can't find a problem with that. So we, we, we put our diagnostic fuse in the diagnostic port here on the fuse panel, okay? And that puts us in diagnostic mode here on the corner post um, display. Okay, so we're gonna use the turn signal here to turn to the right until we can bring up the ACU, okay? And what we're looking for in the ACU is address, address 19, okay? So we're gonna flash to pass. And so now we have 00 ACU, and we're gonna go look for address 19 so that we can check the operation of the seat switch or the operator presence switch. Okay, so it's showing address 19 to be a 001. Okay, that is uh, seat occupied. Okay, and then when you raise up out of the seat, it should cycle to 000, right? Okay, but as we're looking at that, we notice right away that that is not making that cycle. Okay, if it does not see that cycle, um, of an operator in the seat or out of the seat, it has to make that cycle, okay, for auto track to work. So I suspect they may have their seat switch bypassed. So we'll take a look at that and see. We took a look here behind the seat and found the connector on the back of the seat cushion for the seat switch. And what we found was this nice little jumper, okay? So somebody has bypassed the seat switch on the tractor okay and so it never sees that change from zero zero one to zero 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 one representing operator in the seat okay zero 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 represents seeing the operator out of the seat okay if auto steer or the ssu controller which is the steering controller for auto track if it does not see that cycle okay it will not let you auto track okay and so we removed that jumper from the seat switch, plugged the seat switch back in, and it looks as if the seat switch is working properly. So I suspect that maybe they have a faulty seat switch and maybe it's erratic. So I think the fix is 
probably going to be eventually replacing that seat switch. But we're going to go ahead and clear uh, this SSU code and see if we can't make the auto track work. So we cleared the SSU 101 code, uh, verified that the seat switch does work. Okay, and if you can see that, now we have the second portion of our of our status pie highlighted. So I'm gonna touch the steering wheel. Now it's got the third portion highlighted and we've got a auto track line on the display. Okay, so we're gonna go out here in the field here and try that out real quick, make sure that it works. We are auto tracking through this field now and it seems to be working just fine. Okay, and we've disengaged it and re-engaged it several times. It's pretty rough out in this pasture and the seat switch seems to be doing just fine. And so I think that that's probably gonna be his problem is that seat switch, okay? Uh, they may have bypassed that because they were having issues with the seat, seat switch. Not sure what the problem is, but I'll tell you this, tech tip of the day, do not bypass your seat switch if you wanna use auto track. Larry the Tractor Guy signing out. Hey guys, check out Larry the Tractor Guy videos here other videos here subscribe here and buy all your john deere parts here we'll make it work i think gonna have to make we'll make it work come on let's go <laughs> we need to make you some bloopers you already you already burned me out he's sitting in the sun over here man